Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sellers Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary and in today's episode, we're changing the oil on the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. Not only changing the oil, but we're going over the oil filter location and the oil filter that you need to get your uh, vehicle all good to go. So make sure you stay tuned. Let's get going. let's go ahead and go under the vehicle uh, I got it jacked up already uh, using the uh, the lift points I got my drip pan under here I also used a 13 millimeter wrench okay 13 millimeter to go ahead and loosen up the drain plug Okay, drain plugs gonna be right here just right before the front axle Okay, so let's go ahead and take that plug out. Guys, I'm a little bit different than some people when it comes to uh, uh, changing your oil. I got so used to, you know, uh, dealing with hot oil on the big rigs from traveling all day. I just got so used to it of uh, doing it on my own car that way. So what we're gonna do, uh, is I've had some places to go today and some errands. So our engine is nice and hot now. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just change the oil that way. Remember when the, the oil is hot, it's gonna flow really quick, okay? Uh, when it's cold, it can go as slow as molasses, okay? Which is uh, not that great if you're changing your oil and it's already cold. So here we go get the drip pan uh, the drain plug out and there you go right into the pan you see how it's running nice and quick and smooth I love it it means I don't have to be down here that long there you go you see it and it's black too which a lot of people don't understand when it comes to engine oil if you have a diesel engine black oil can actually uh, your oil can turn black after running the engine once in a diesel okay unfortunately this is not a diesel this is a gas engine so black oil is bad okay and uh, I should have changed this a while ago yet I did not please don't tell my wife I'll get in trouble <laughs> all right let this go ahead and finish up and we'll move on to the oil filter. All right, so the oil is finishing up uh, draining. We got to come up here and we have to get to our oil filter location, which is right here. Okay, it's going to be a 15 16 uh, socket or wrench, whichever one that you want to use. I, uh, I am going to use a socket. I have a wrench right now, but that was just to check on the size of that. Uh, but we have a couple other things we have to do before we can get to that point, okay? So we have to loosen up this clamp back here, right there. We have to take this hose out and we have to loosen this clamp. Actually, forget about that clamp. We don't have to loosen that one up. We just have to loosen this one and unclip your air filter box, okay? It's in the way. We gotta get it out of there. So let's go ahead and loosen this up back here. I don't know what you guys are thinking. And there's a lot of leaves on that car. I bet they never drive it. And you'd be incorrect. We drive this thing all the time. It's just Virginia loves their leaves. All right, there we go, guys. So that's out. This would be a great time if you have not changed to your air filter to change it now. Make sure that no contaminants get in there. So all these leaves, I'm gonna just brush those out real quick. We don't need those. All right, as I said, 15 16 Let's see. Nope. 
No, actually, yep. Yeah. That uh, that freed it up right there. So here we go. Let's see if we can loosen a little bit more. If not, I'll grab a socket. I don't want to. I don't want to strip this thing out. It is plastic, guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that. Yes, I do have sockets. Do I know where they are? Most of the time. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, here we go. All right, a great thing to do, guys, uh, when changing out your oil filter is do not do it first. <laughs> okay, you want to uh, let's see if we can. Nope. Hold on, let me grab a socket, guy. All right, so there we go. I uh, went ahead, got the cap off. There we go. Let's get it all the way out of there. All right, turn it upside down just like this, guys. Okay? Uh, that will keep your filter from pissing all over the place. All right, so got the filter out. Okay? I uh, got the new one right here. I got it from Pure Later. But I'm going to go ahead and throw the link in the description down below to the filter that you need for your 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. Uh, what you're going to do on the filter, you're just going to grab it, okay? You grab the other side, and you're going to pull up, okay? Pull up, and it just pops right off, okay? Take that filter, put it in your drip pan, that way you can deal with it later. And next, you want to switch out this O-ring that is on the lid right there, okay? Just gonna grab it, we're gonna roll it. See that? Roll it off. Put your new filter on, okay? You'll hear a little pop. See how it's locked in, okay? And then put your new filter Put that on as well. Okay. Go ahead and roll that on into position. And then you're going to turn it upside down and put it back in. Okay. Go ahead and spin it. Remember, it is plastic, guys. Okay. So you do not want to overturn and strip this thing out. All right, so once you have the uh, oil filter cap back on, remember uh, if you didn't put a little bit of oil around the, the seam, around the O-ring, uh, make sure you, you do that before you throw it back in. It'll make it easier to come back out. So once you actually get that uh, oil filter cap back on there, then go ahead and throw your uh, air filter assembly back on. Uh, just the top you shouldn't have taken the entire thing out uh, next you need to put the the drain plug back in so we can go ahead and top up the oil so i'm going to go ahead and knock that out real quick and i'll be right back all right so we got the new oil filter on we got all the old oil drained out now oh and the oil filter cap is back on the drain plug is now it's time to fill our, our new oil up. So today we're uh, using a nice full synthetic uh, 5W20, which is what the town and country uh, the manufacturer recommends. So that's uh, it's best just to go with that. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna, we're gonna fill this up, try not to make a mess. Of course that did not happen with the used oil. I made a terrible mess with that. You know, I just thought about though. You know how you can tell if uh, if someone's a DIYer or, or a mechanic by just driving by. If it's raining and you drive by and water is beating off of the driveway, there is a good chance a mechanic or a DIYer lives there. <laughs> So the engine calls for 4.6 quarts. This is a five quart, so we should be good. 
Let's grab a rag and find out. Never take the, the first swipe, okay? Take it out, wipe it off, put it back in, and then do a test run. What we got? We're at the bottom, so we're almost there. Let's go ahead and fill it up some more. Also, remember, guys, that all the uh, parts that were used in this video can be found in the description down below. I went ahead and put the filters and the oil in the description for you so you don't have to hunt for it. Plus, uh, they are the parts that I used. Uh, I order all my stuff off of Amazon because it's great prices and it gets to me quickly. And as you see, here, let me turn you guys. I have a few projects right now and uh and then whatever my wife has me doing inside but uh with the numerous projects i just don't want to have the i don't have the time to run down to the parts store because if i go to the parts store i'm not just walking out with one part i'm gonna walk out with parts tools cleaning uh items buckets drip pans why because uh, i need them I need them <laughs> so it's easier just to order it on Amazon um, do that it comes right to my door and I can continue on working and that helps a lot for everyone that actually has a pretty busy life if you're working a career right now and you're, you're fixing your car then you know uh, you need some help too you know and that's why they came out with that uh what's that that uh, one thing, Amazon Fresh, right? Where they get your groceries for you, you know, because people are short on time. So help yourself out. Hit the video description down below. Check out the, the parts I put there for you. And I am sure you will be happy. So we're almost good on the oil. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of that in. All right, so we need about one more quart. Let me go see if I have some in the garage. All right guys, so we went ahead and changed the engine oil. The last thing, very last thing we need to do is we need to reset our oil life light. Okay, so let's go inside and uh, do that in the van, okay? All right, so here we are in the vehicle. We have our keys. We're gonna put them in the ignition, turn it over to accessory. You're going to slowly press your accelerator three times, okay? And then shut your car off. There you go. That reset your oil life and you are now good to go to enjoy another five to 7,000 miles of amazingness in your Chrysler town and country. All right, guys, so there you go. We went ahead, filled the engine oil back up. We know the oil filter location, and we went ahead and drained out all that old oil, which was uh, very dark. <laughs> and you, you could tell it was much needed to be changed. So got that good to go. Remember the, the uh, parts that were used in this video can be found in the description down below. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the like button so YouTube knows that you like my videos and I'm doing a good job. Hey, also, I love seeing the thumbs up means that you know i am doing a good job and you guys like what i'm doing so throw that out there hit the thumbs up smash the subscribe button and until next time guys keep on wrenching take care guys